We're good. Are you ready? There we go. Today, we are talking about all things composting toilets. Whoop. There it is. Way up there. But first, let's talk about something a little bit less predictable than our bodily functions. <laughs> So we got sent by a company called Sane Logic, a weather station mm -hmm. that we have right here on top of our umbrella clothesline. So Jag set this up. I'm going to have him talk to you about it a little bit. So this is the outdoor station. It has wind direction, wind speed, uh, detects rain, temperature, outdoor pressure, humidity, It'll detect like the dew point. It's got a bunch of cool features. And was it pretty easy to set up? Oh, it was It was cake. It, it comes with all the hardware you'll need. You can put it on something flat, something vertical, uh, an individual post. Okay, now we're inside. Little man just woke up. Yeah, mornings. Mm -hmm. So here's the control panel. It's been really useful and also an educational tool for the boys. You have wind, wind direction, wind speed, the temperature inside, the temperature outside, the pressure, what the weather's looking like, the time, the date, and the moon cycle. So I'll go ahead and post a link for that in the description if anyone's interested in getting their own weather station. But now, back to composting toilets. This is our composting toilet. You might be wondering, why it's so far away. <laughs> it's also called the portal potty, and I will show you why. Jag will demonstrate. This is why we call it a portal potty. Because we use our portal to get here. <laughs> okay, we don't actually have a portal on our land, unfortunately. Yeah, we use a portal potty. It's but real. yes, but we do have a portal potty and we're gonna show it to you right now. All right, so Jag has been working for the last while, yeah. few weeks, we've been doing it bit by bit, mm -hmm. on our portal potty, which is actually a composting toilet. We thought of some other names like the compost commode, but somehow the portal potty just stuck. So we're gonna say, although we don't have a portal on our land, it transports our human waste into usable compost which i might as well give a little warning now we are going to be explaining how this works and why we have one so if you aren't comfortable talking about bodily functions this might not be the video for you that said for the rest of us who know that everybody does poop the portal potty jag take it away hey right, babe give us the full tour <laughs> okay this is the portal potty we left the top half of the door open because it is our portal so when you're when you're sitting there doing your business you still get a great view sure do <laughs> there's the sunrise this morning we got a little half door with a an easy an easy lock and why is it on a stand well first off to give us like a flat deck just so everything's level and to keep it up and away from any critters or anything that would want to get into this place. <laughs> that might want to hang out in there too, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go inside. Take the inside tour. I got these out of the rain last night. Oh, yeah, there's some <laughs> tools. We were fin literally finishing this up yesterday. So let me show you the inside here. There's the roof. There's the toilet. Little stepping stool. Got some shelves for soap, for wet wipes. Our sink, which we're not going to turn on right now because Jag had to put some, what do you call it? Ah, Self-leveling epoxy. So that's not water, that's epoxy in there, just to make sure all the water drains, right? Yep. But there you have it. And then we've got extra water down there to refill, right babe? Yep. And a towel, towel hook. And a towel hook, which we need to get a towel in here. We'll yep. do that today. So how exactly 
Does the composting toilet work? So you got to make sure to keep your fluid separate from your human manure. <laughs> so there is a separator in the toilet. And it's still brand new, so we're going to show it to you. Yeah. So you've got a separator there. Yep. With the drain with the drain. And your human manure will all go in the back. Yep, and that's just a five gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. So to flush, uh, you cover your human manure with sawdust, which also balances the nitrogen carbon in the compost. And so gets rid of the smell, doesn't attract flies, and starts the composting process. Yeah. And so for the sawdust right next to the toilet, we have another little lid. Five gallon bucket. And you just take a scoop and pour it in. And it really does not smell. It, it smells like sawdust. Yeah. 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 Smell wood. And then we just have a little trash can there for any wet wipes. So thought on the wet wipes. I'd say wet wipes are probably one of our number one waste products right now. I do have an idea that I'm hoping to implement at some point in time, and that is to put planter boxes around the composting toilet and grow either mullein or lamb's ear. Lamb's ear actually does grow out here natively. You might have heard those things referred to as cowboy toilet paper because before there was regular toilet paper, that's what people used. Just a thought for the future. All the liquid that comes from this building goes out to water nearby plants and trees. So when you urinate, it starts flushing out the tube. But cool thing, when you wash your hands, uh, all the rinse water from the sink actually flows into the urine pipe and flushes it out. So then your urine and any hand washing fluid runs out in the waters nearby trees. So no waste goes to waste nope. on this homestead, right? Right. <laughs> Is there anything else we need to say about how it works? Oh, I know. You're very much taller than me right now. Let me step up here. So once the five gallon bucket is full, then what happens? So I'm actually building another compost bin up here. You will dump it into that and turn it every, probably every time we add a new bucket mm -hmm. and uh, wait a year and you've got some black gold there. Yeah. So you do want to let it sit for a year before you use it and then it'll go on mostly on your trees. Yeah. Yeah. You don't really want to use it in the garden. There's there's some debate on that, but for yeah. other native life you want to grow shade, shade trees, um, fruit and nut trees, it can be used as as a compost for those. Yeah. So there you go. Composting toilet. I'm excited. The portal. Mm -hmm. The portal potty. And I do have a view of my bow target from it, so I kind of want to, <laughs> kind of want to take a shot while taking a shot. <laughs> why not? Another thing I wanted to talk about now that we're walking down the trail is why we have it so far from our house, and that is for the gravity effect, so that we can water the trees. I just wanted to make that connection while we're going down. Also, look at the pretty flowers that are blooming out here. All right, see you guys next week.